Hello YouTube friends, I hope you're well. I'm in Switzerland, our Calidad Europe 2019 tour has finished. So tomorrow morning I will head with my beautiful partner who films all these videos to Slovakia to visit her parents, hang out and lay low for a month, which will give me a lot of time to practice, post a lot of videos and do a lot of personal things and a lot of Calidad administration work and preparation and stuff like that. So things are great. And today I want to talk about quite a broad concept, so it's not like a lesson where I'm going to just show you chords or anything like that. We're talking about concept today, but one that I think is super important and one that essentially my practice is built around these days. It's the idea of horizontal growth versus vertical growth. Um, before we get into that, there's a quote from Bruce Lee, the famous martial arts master, and he says something like, I do not fear the man who has practiced 10,000 punches one time, I fear the man who has practiced one punch 10,000 times. And that is a useful metaphor for what I want to talk about today with horizontal progress versus vertical progress. Um, now, it took me a while to figure this out. I used to play in covers bands when I was young and just starting out and that was something I recommend to anyone because you learn heaps of songs, you learn how they're put together, you're working with other people, you're doing gigs. So whilst being an original band is obviously what it's all about, I think for, for definitely for myself and for a lot of other people, um, I do recommend a covers band, a covers duo, a cover solo project. You can learn heaps, you can earn some money, you can get out there and play and develop a lot of skills. So anyway, while I was doing covers, one of the things I started to realize was that my group and other groups could fall into the bad habit of what I'd call horizontal growth, which is just learning more songs. But they're always at the same standard. So you might just say, learn the, the, the strumming chords to a song, the bassist plays the root note, the drummer plays a simple beat, the singer sings the lyrics, cool, we know that song, let's do another song, let's do another song. And I call that horizontal growth, the same way I've seen certain people try and learn every Metallica song, let's say. But they never seem to get any better they just learn another song without improving it. That would be what I call horizontal growth. And what I call vertical growth would be, well, let's go back to this cover band example. You say, okay, we're gonna learn a new song this week, but this time I'm gonna actually nail the guitar solo. Whereas in the last one, I wasn't playing the exact solo, I was just kind of improvising in the key of the song. Or you might say, okay, I'm learning every Metallica song, but each time I learn a song, I'm gonna slightly improve it. So the same thing applies here, whereas, you get to a point in your playing, or I know I did, where each day you can learn some new chords, learn some new melodies, learn some new systems, techniques, whatever it is. And you kind of think, yep, I learned that. Last Tuesday I practiced, uh, I don't know, a Mozart piece. So I, I did that, I ticked that off. And now I'm gonna learn a Bach piece. Or I wrote a, a song, so I'm gonna write another song. It's kind of like when people um, are traveling, or, yep, I did Paris, I did London. Going somewhere for one day, taking a photo of the Eiffel Tower and getting back on the train is not doing Paris. Just like, let's say for example, taking one of my lesson videos, getting a couple chords under your fingers and then moving on is not learning that lesson. So we need to be like Bruce Lee, learning one punch 10,000 times, every time with a slightly different angle, slightly different speed. So that's the basic concept, is that rather than just keep learning more stuff, I'm asking you to learn the stuff that you know better, deeper, and more perfectly. You might actually have to, inverted commas, slow your progress for a short time that you might not get to learn a song a day or a song a week or learn a new lick every day or however you're doing things at the moment. Um, so that's the concept, is that we want to horizontal... Ah, we, horizontal growth is also good, but I think it's much more important to have that vertical growth where as you develop on the guitars, you put time into your playing, you have to actually get better, not just no more, and have the same mistakes and the same imprecise playing, which is such a common pattern. Okay, so that's the concept. Now some direct techniques for working with that. Um, I think find the licks that you play the most and play them even more. Sounds counterintuitive. For me, one of them is just like the blues rhythm. knows how many hundreds of times or thousands of times I've played that in my life but every time I play it still do I palm it a bit harder and pick a bit harder do I pick a bit lighter should I do it with my fingers 
This is such a simple riff. Do I do it one, one note at a time? Do I do a bit of a bra? This is that idea of 10,000, doing the same thing 10,000 times, but each one is in a slightly different way. Couple more notes in the strike. And although I've played that so many times, each time I play it, I look for a way to make it a little bit better. Another concept of this vertical growth is taking really, really simple licks. That's just a slide from the fifth to seven. A little bend at the end. The bend. I'll literally sit here, I'll sit here for 10, 20, 30 minutes, just going. Try and get that bend really vocal. So rather than going, yep, I know how to bend a note, the, the, the vertical growth concept is, how can I keep bending that note slightly better? And you're listening for things like the string scratching against the frets, the finger lightly brushing against the string, the sound of the pick hitting the string. A bit of scraping there. A great thing to do and a very humbling thing to do is to record yourself playing. I just use my iPhone. I can't show you now because it's my iPhone that Mariana and I film these videos with. I just get my iPhone out. There's uh, the, the voice recorder app. Just hit record. Just put the phone right here. You don't need an external microphone or anything. You can get one if you want, but the iPhone microphone is, is perfectly usable quality for any kind of practice. Did you hear that just then? That was actually a crappy little slide. I was trying to do like a... But I did like a kind of ugly little hit the fret a little bit. So we're looking for vertical progress. We're looking to take the things we think we know or we already know and make them a lot better. Even something like a simple like bending lick. That's a pretty classic lick where you got the 12th and the 12th and you're bending the 14th. That's a very classic lick. You might already know that. And if you don't, I highly recommend it. But rather than go, yes, I know that lick, it's like, there's so much to get out of it. And then when I'm listening, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm bending that, and I can hear it touching the next string. So I've got to practice it more. I don't want this video to drag on. I don't like any of my videos to drag on. So I think I've, um, kind of express the concept to you. I could blabber on for hours about this because I love talking about the guitar. And I think this is a deep topic, even though on the surface I'm saying horizontal growth versus vertical growth. I think it's quite a deep topic and it's like, how much quality are you choosing to put into your guitar playing? Because if you go, yep, I learned the three chords, I know how to play that song, on to the next song. Sure, there's value there, you're learning, you're having fun, you're playing music. I'm definitely not saying don't do that, I'm saying, in my personal quest to be excellent, I've discovered that I need to learn the same punch 10,000 times and really try and knock the crap out of it. So maybe today, instead of learning something new on the guitar, why don't you go back to the original things that you play and just have a listen, record them on your phone, play them back, maybe film yourself playing them or just listen and see, can I do this better? Am I doing this perfectly? I can guarantee you're not doing it perfectly because I don't think perfection exists. So there must be a way to do it better. And in there, you will find some growth that will lead you to vertical growth and actually make you a better guitarist rather than somebody who just learnt a new lick or a new song today. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments how you're going. Nothing makes me happier than when somebody leaves a comment on one of these videos like, hey, I was bored with playing, but now I'm inspired again or didn't play for a year and now the guitar's back. Whatever it is, that kind of stuff is so cool. That's why I do this. Um, the other reason is because it helps me with my own playing. So getting back to fundamentals to teach them forces me to get back to fundamentals, which again is what I'm saying here. Good luck, all the best, thank you very much. And I'll be posting a lot this month because I've got a month off. Yoop.